In this video clip, I'm going to look at the situation where a um, the acquirer in a business combination transfers assets to the um, acquiree, so the company being acquired, as part of the consideration that is transferred. Um, why that asset needs to be revalued to fair value. Now, our starting point is, first of all, the accounting statement or on business combinations being AASB 3 and specifically paragraph 37, which states that the consideration that is transferred, and um, I've just summarized it here, the consideration that is transferred by the acquirer should be measured at fair value, um, be determined at the acquisition date. So that's very important to be able, um, the acquisition date is very important to be able to actually identify the fair value of the um, components of the consideration that is transferred. And um, the consideration transferred should be calculated as the sum of the fair value of any assets transferred by the acquirer, the fair value of any liabilities incurred by him, and the fair value of any equity interest issued by the acquirer. And the total of these three then gives us the consideration transferred, um, of course, at fair value. Now, paragraph 38 then um, specifically states that the consideration transferred may include assets or liabilities of the acquirer that have carrying amounts that differ from their fair values at the acquisition date. Now just look at that sentence again. So the consideration that is transferred, is, and that means whatever um, the acquirer is paying, the company that's being acquired, may include assets or liabilities of the acquirer. So that's now the first section of um, our definition that we got in paragraph 37. And those items might have carrying amounts that differ from the fair values of those items on the acquisition date. So on the date that we do the business combination. So the acquisition date is not here when we acquired those assets or liabilities. It's the acquisition date of the business combination transaction. Then we have to remeasure the transferred assets or liabilities to their fair values on the acquisition date and recognize the resulting gains or losses if there are any in profit or loss. So what the statement implies is, is that we're basically selling those assets that we include as part of our um, consideration for the business um, acquisition. Um, that we in effect, we're selling those assets to the acquiree. And therefore, we need to um, revalue it to fair value to recognize the gain or loss on the revaluation so that the asset is included in, our, um, in the acquirer's general ledger at fair value before we actually um, take it out of the general ledger again at fair value. So let's look at the example that we did in the tute and just um, look at the consideration that was transferred and um, the revaluation that needs to be done. I'm going to use data from question 1012 to look at the treatment of the assets that were included um, or that formed part of the consideration that was transferred. So we were told in the question that the consideration transferred cost consisted of, first of all, vacant land, delivery trucks, and sufficient cash to enable the company to pay off accounts payable and liquidation costs. Now we know from the accounting statement for business combinations that the consideration transferred 
should um, be valued at fair value. So the vacant land that we transfer to the acquiree should be valued at the fair value of 120,000. The delivery trucks, we were told that the fair value of that is 28,000. And then we also had to transfer sufficient cash so that they could pay off their accounts payable of 23,500 and liquidation costs of one and a half thousand dollars gives us a total of twenty five thousand dollars but they have two thousand dollars in the bank so we only have to give them an additional twenty three thousand dollars so that then gives us our total consideration that will be transferred um, which represents our payment for the assets and um, that we've acquired and the liabilities that we've assumed as part of this business combination. But remember at this stage we are focusing of, on the accounting records of the acquirer. So if you just think of the land general ledger account, amongst other entries we will have um, the land that we are going to transfer as part of the consideration which is currently lying in this account at the carrying amount of $50,000. When we record the consideration, um, when we record the business combination entries, there's going to be a credit to this land general ledger account of $120,000. And that journal is to um, record the fact that this land is not owned by us anymore but has been transferred to the acquiree um, at fair value. So the purpose of this journal will basically be to remove the land from our accounting records. But now you can see that the carrying amount of this land is not the same as the fair value. So the um, AASB 3, the accounting statement on business combinations, um, in paragraph 38 told us that if the carrying amount differs from the fair value, we need to revalue that asset before it is transferred as part of the consideration. So we have to revalue this land with $70,000 to get the carrying amount um, equal to the fair value and the contra to this will be our gain on revaluation and it would be recorded in the income statement of 70,000. So after this journal the land is going to have a carrying amount of 120,000 and we can then proceed to remove that land asset at the fair value to record um, the business combination journals. Let's also look at the delivery trucks perhaps. Okay, so the delivery trucks once again amongst other acquisition and um, sales transactions would include the cost or the carrying amount of um, these trucks that is going to form part of the consideration. So um, the delivery trucks is lying there with the carrying amount of $30,000. When we record the business combination transactions, there's going to be a contra to this account or a credit entry of $28,000 because we've been given the fair value of these delivery trucks being $28,000. So once again, you can see that the carrying amount of these trucks 
are not the same as the fair value of the trucks. So what we can expect to get for the trucks um, in an arm's length transaction today, that is the fair value. But not uh, with the land we saw we had to increase the carrying amount. In this case we've got to write off a part of the carrying amount. So there's a credit to this account representing a loss on revaluation. So we'll the loss which would also be filtering through to the income statement of two thousand dollars needs to be recorded. And thereafter we can now see that the delivery trucks is lying at a carrying amount of $28,000 and we can then proceed to record the business combination journals where we remove those um, delivery trucks that formed part of the consideration that was transferred. Now let's go ahead then and see um, how these journals are passed with regards to the acquirer. Remember now that we're now busy with the accounting records of the acquirer, not with the company that was being acquired. That's a separate set of journals, and in this question, those journals entailed liquidating the company. So now, for now, we're only focusing on the accounting records of the acquirer. So I've just made a, a, a broad um, summary of the types of journals that will be passed in the records of the acquirer with regards to business combinations. If there are assets apart from cash that forms part of the consideration that's going to be transferred, the first journals will be um, or relate to the revaluation of those assets. So similarly to what we've um, looked at in the previous slide, um, so in this, in this question we'll have land and delivery trucks that needs to be revalued so that the carrying amount agrees to the fair value. Um, the rest of the journals we're not going to cover in this slide but I'll just quickly go through them. The second set of journals will be um, journals to record the assets that we've acquired, so the new assets to um, if I'm the acquirer and um, so the new assets to my company as well as any liabilities that I've taken over from the acquiry and both the assets and the liabilities will be recorded at fair value in my records um, I'm me being the acquirer. Our third journal and it's normally combined these two would be to record the financing of the acquisition, so that ties into the consideration um, that is transferred. So if there's um, assets, the part of the financing would be to, to record the credit entry to those assets at fair value. And um, if there's cash that we have to pay, we'll also record the creditor or the liability um, to reflect the fact that we still owe the acquiry um, the, the actual cash. And then the last journal will be the cash flow, so where that liability is settled with the actual cash being paid. So just looking at a snapshot of the journal entries then that will be passed in the acquirer's records. Always make sure you know which, which company you're busy with. So um, the first journal year is to revalue the land. Remember the land was lying at a carrying amount of $50,000 dollars. We need to bring up that value to the fair value of 120 um, because the accounting statement, of course, requires us to revalue any of the assets that forms part of the consideration that's transferred where the carrying amount differs 
from the fair value. So we increase the value, the carrying amount of the land by 70,000 in order to, ref, um, re, to have that asset lying there at the fair value. Um, the resultant gain is going to the income statement. The second one here is then to revalue the um, delivery trucks. So if you remember, it was lying there with a carrying amount of 30,000. The fair value is 28. So we have to reduce the carrying amount by 20, um, sorry, $2,000. The resultant loss is also going to the income statement. So we're just re-measuring those assets to their fair value um, before we then transfer it out as part of the business combination journals to um, at their fair value. So we just need to revalue or remeasure them at, at fair value. Okay, I hope that cl this clarifies why those assets have been um, remeasured in this question and um, that you understand where it originates from, the requirement in the accounting statement stating that um, any assets that form part of our consideration that is transferred needs to first of all be remeasured to fair value before it's transferred out by passing the consideration transfer journal. If you need any further information or clarity on this concept, please um, post the question on my Guru and um, I'll be able to deal with it there then um, in more detail.